your brother go. There he is. Say hi, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got done. Um, I guess you call it dragging the pasture. Um, something we do a couple times a year and basically spreads all the poop all around and keeps the pasture looking good. Um, keeps the grass that we mowed that's sitting on everything moved around as well. <laughs> yeah. So it is, it is helps overall with the health of the pasture hey, and hey, how it looks. Hey, him. Here you are. I just hey. Hey. Hi. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I know it's been a minute since we've uh, posted a video. It's just hey, one hey. of those things you walk out of the house to get things done and get it done and you're like crap I probably should have <laughs> documented that um for the kids but sometimes it's just better to get things done because you don't have a whole lot of time with the kiddos so anyway uh to keep you guys I'll give you a little bit of update after I get sis um in her stroller and we can walk around a little bit and uh, I've already got the drag thing uh unhooked from the ranger. We're just going to enjoy a little ride real quick before we put it up. How's that sound? Good. Good? All right. All right. And of course, now that I want to give you an update on the lean-to, um, nothing really that we've done other than the fact that the horses actually use it. Actually use it now. Uh, I've caught them in it several times and I'll turn that fan on for them and their waters on the opposite side over there now. Um, I'm just excited that they're actually using the lean-to. Um, and the one horse show that we have been so far t this year um, is when Reese's stayed in the lean-to um, the whole time that I had Joy at the show. So that that's the day that she started using it. So I'm excited. Um, you know, that fan, that fan will help with flies and everything like that. And then we'll get all the, the dry lot under the lean-to eventually all that in lime, like ag lime. And they say that it'll help with flies as well. So anything that will help with flies, they are, out in full force and so are the buffalo gnats so that's fun while i'm walking back to the garden and the chickens um we've had to mow mow i can't even talk we've had to mow the pasture twice already so the horses aren't doing their job wait let me show you where they're natural they i don't know if you can see they literally stand in that corner in the shade by the neighbor's house uh, majority of the day so even if I spray them with flies they, they'll eat grass a little bit more after that and then uh, then they'll go right back to that spot or the lean-to so yeah we've had to mow the pasture which stinks but they're not doing their job okay um, if you watched my garden bed making video um and the works of all of that here here you go you want to see it right now <laughs> you're like oh my gosh there it is <laughs> what look at that maybe i actually have a green thumb who knew <laughs> we're doing good so far so some stuff I actually do have in bags. This is the lettuce. I need to do a couple more starts in that bag. That is my carrots. This is my potatoes. It's getting ridiculous, guys. Um, this is our first time with potatoes. We have no idea. Like, we watch some YouTube videos and things like that. <clears throat> 
but yeah they're this is what they're doing right now and if you are pro at potatoes let me know what i need to do uh with them i water them every day get, get them make sure they're nice and got moisture in there um Hi. there you are so this is my squash here look at this this is ridiculous i've already got flowers on some of them um this is my broccoli and some carrots in there and the marigolds are doing good this is all zucchini they're doing really good um the only thing that's not doing really good is over here in this bed so i actually had cucumbers all in this side they all died i don't know if it was from a frost or something on this side is got something funky going on but here's my watermelon and then the other one is over here they're just not doing too hot neither did the cucumbers that i had on this side and then these are all my peppers jalapeno and banana peppers they're doing real good and my tomato plants <clears throat> so they're doing really good everything's taken off not as crazy as that but they're doing good here is some of the pods i have left that either what was in it didn't make it kind of like the cucumbers and stuff this one i actually have this is my cucumber start i'm gonna put that in a bag there's two plants in there and then i think i'm just gonna put more lettuce in these and maybe some carrots um you can always plant those so okay now now we're walking back to the chicken coop um you if you've watched or not we got two new chickens well a rooster and a hen and they're the silkies kind breed or whatever yeah and they're cool looking and everything uh, we got it from a friend that bought a house and the previous owners left them thing is there he is we called him rudy rudy the rooster and then you can hear the neighbor one um So there they are. Um, we have lost four chickens of ours. Ours are the gold ones. You can kind of see. Maybe. So, oh, you gonna come get me? You gonna come get me? You're so big and bad. Come get me, huh? Come get me. Look at him. You gonna come get me? Oh, you're gonna, you're so big and bad. <laughs> you're so silly. Anyways, what I was saying before I was trying to get pecked through the gate. He's not very nice. He is gonna be chicken and dumplings for too long. <laughs> Sad truth, but it is the truth. Um... That chicken's not doing very good at all. I'll give you a close-up of them. So, basically, when we got these chickens um, from a friend that bought a new house, um, we didn't really know anything about them. She didn't know anything about them. So, we're like, well, we'll, give, we'll give it a try. Um, turns out, they... Turns out they have some kind of like, the best way I can describe it to you guys is like a bug. Um, or, let's just call it, in, yeah, infection or a bug or whatever. So basically what it is, is their poop um, has, is in, their poop is infected and once the other ones are exposed to it and around it, um, it makes them sick and attacks their intestines. Uh, it's kind of like a parasite. And then um, they basically get diarrhea, their organs start shutting off, and they die. So we've found three or four chickens now that way. Um, 
they just will lay there and lose all mobility at all, like at all. And um, they... <laughs> he wants to say in it too. Um, basically, they won't get up. They won't move. They're just, they don't even try to move. They just like, are just laying there and it looks like pain. Um, they just look at it, it. The chicken just looks at me or Michael and it's just like, leave me alone. I'm, I just want to go. And it's just, it's sad. So since then we've put Corrid in their water to try to attack this. That's what they say to do to treat it. Um, we put it in their whole thing of drinking water so they have at least a week of that and then refill it put it in there again since having done that we've lost one again um i don't know these these <laughs> these white chickens might be getting the boot here soon um and i'm hopefully maybe i'll just clean out the chicken coop really good and get all the poop out and <laughs> That will help too, maybe? Anyway, so that's the update on the chickens. Hopefully we don't lose any more. Hi girls and guy. What you doing? You gonna come get me? Hi. Hello. Those gnats getting you? Huh? Where's all your feathers, sister? Are you molting? Where are your feathers? <laughs> You're a mangy looking thing. I'll get the eggs while I'm out here. We'll see how many we have. All right, we got four. Sweet. So that's just a little update for you guys. Um, what? That, those are the things I can think of. There's a lot of stuff that goes on um but yeah hopefully the chickens are better and they figure it out and get better and hopefully the horses start eating more grass <laughs> oh shoot um might be getting a cow or two sooner than we thought just so we don't have to mow and do all that stuff um but I think that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna try and get better about making videos again. Um, and, you know, I'd really like to do is get, um, make a video of um, one of the horse shows that we go to. Um, maybe I'll get that, get that in. And uh, that's my plan is get a, that would be so cool to, for Owen to see, um, you know, years later down the road of him on, in a, you know, fun horse show. And, uh, the more shows that we can make, the better. Um, like I said, we've only made one so yeah. far. Um, and next weekend is my birthday. Um, do, not doing anything special other than I would like to go on a trail ride. Hey, hey sissy. Oh. oh. And, uh, yeah. Is that what you think, Cece girl? Uh, Hi. Uh, You're getting so big. Anyway, um, we'll see how that goes, too. Maybe I can make a video out of that. But, uh, that's all I got, you guys. And, I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And hopefully see you soon on the next one.